someone in our gallery is trying to communicate. Mbona kulikuwa na kukumov hivyo? Who is that responsible and what are you trying to say? And it's in the morning and I agree with you. <laughs> Good morning. If you're just catching us, this is why the morning we are at the tail end of the show. And uh, it's very sad, but you know, everything good comes to an end. It's fine. But we still do have a lot more content here on Channel Y254. Now, we just concluded a very, very, very interesting interview with one uh, Dr. Ezekiel Mutua, yes, CEO of MCSK, that is music... Uh, we, music Copyright Society of Kenya, Kidogo ni. <laughs> I mean, Pelega Mbio Kidogo, but I have really learned a lot. And if you're an artist of uh, the music kind, let me not say any kind, but you could pia kuna kam, there's that one for producers, and then there's a Prisk. So there's a lot, there's a lot happening over there. So please, in case you miss it or you just want to hear a couple of details one more time, White Five Four is the need, is the way you need to be on our YouTube page. Yes, hashtag of the day is one in the morning. Now we are getting to our question. Now, but don't not go interact now, Sissy. So remember, it's White Five Four on Facebook, White Five Four channel on X, White Five Four underscore channel on the gram. And the question is, are we empowering the girl child too much? Is it time to stop and now focus on the boy child or not? Or is, is, it, is it not over? Should we be doing more? And I do not think I feel like I want to express my sentiments, but that's why I have a panel and that's why I moderate it. So let me allow these lovely ladies to introduce themselves. They've come fully attired in very interesting gear. You'll tell me all about it, but let me first start with your names. What's your name? My name is Yola Kwasisi Akote. <laughs> okay. Slowly, uh -huh. Luella. Luella. Princess. Princess. Ida Codes. Yeah, Codes. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's exotic. Where are you from? I'm from Burundi. Okay. And I'm here for an exchange uh -huh. for six months. Mm -hmm. I'm a Yes Girls Movement participant, 2024. Mm -hmm. And we are from Girl Guides. Mm -hmm. We are here for KGDA, Kenya Girl Guides Association. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Am I too old to be a girl guide? You are welcome. Oh, I'm not too old, so I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I thought you were saying yes, I'm too old. I was panicked for a minute there. What's your name? So, hello. Uh, my name is Nabina Mangrati. Na, na, Nabina. Nabina. Yeah. Like Rabina, but Nabina. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Nabina. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Nepal. Mm -hmm. And as like of her, I am one of the um, Yes volunteer. For six months, I'll be here in Kenya for six months, mm -hmm. uh, working with Kenya Girl Guide Association. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your favorite thing about Kenya so far? As of now, Kenya, uh, the thing that I heard a lot about Kenya when I was about to come here is Maasai Beats mm -hmm. and Ugali. <laughs> Aha. Okay, I have, I'd never take this off though. Like these kind of beads or the yeah, assorted ones? like everything. All uh -huh. of those accessories uh -huh. that are made up of beads. Like, um, that is kind of a speciality of Kenya as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Those are the beautiful things I have seen. Should we tell her anything else that we like to do? Ama? We let her discover. Let's let her discover. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about Kenya so far? Um, I'm excited to see the animals like lions. Mm -hmm. We don't have such things at home really mm. so i'm really excited to do safari mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and i like the way kenya is like nairobi is like europe and africa at the same time ah! <laughs> ah! yeah i like ah. the, like it's green everywhere and mm. the buildings uh -huh. ah it's just amazing ah <laughs> To my fikiwo guys <laughs> we, are, we have reached we have reached all right anyway my nairobi it is beautiful but also where should we tell her? Anyway, let's just allow them to explore. I hope you have fun mm -hmm. exploring. So tell me about is the Yes Girls movement. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that first before we get into empowerment and things like that. What is it exactly? Okay, so Yes Girls movement. Uh, so firstly, we have uh, WAGS, which is World Association of Girl Guide and Girl Scout. Which, uh, and uh, it has so many programs to undertake for like all the girl guides and scouts, girl scouts all across the world. Mm -hmm. And Yes Girls Movement is one of their program, one of our program of mm -hmm. WAGS, where, um, which, uh, so Yes stands for Youth Exchange South to South. So for this year, for 2024, mm -hmm. uh, we have 12 countries 
uh, some from Africa and some from Asia Pacific region. Mm -hmm. So I belong to Asia Pacific, so it's from Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, for um, that, we, uh, as I've already said, we are 12 countries for mm -hmm. this year and started from 2015 mm -hmm. and it's still going on. And this year, is again more special mm -hmm. because we are celebrating 10 yes. years of Yes yeah. Girls movement oh. and the uh, the celebration is going to happen yeah. here in Kenya in yes. Nairobi. First thing I should teach you celebration in Swahili is Sherehe. Someone say Sherehe with me. Sherehe. Sherehe. <laughs> yeah, we know how to have good time guys <laughs> responsibly. Yes. Sharia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So t tell me about the celebration. What are you guys going to do? What's, where is it going to be exactly? Uh, we, we are planning. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Everything is in process. So we can't fully tell the details. Yeah. But uh -huh. we have even the Yes Summit. Yeah. Yeah. The oh, Yes wow. Summit here and the 10 years celebration. Okay. And yeah. it's going to happen on July. Yeah. Okay. Summertime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not too far because we. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> 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 we just finished Feb, so March, uh, April, May, June, July. Okay, Shh. we have summertime by the way. It's June, around June there, July. Yes, we also have summer. Anyway, so uh, wh where am I getting with this? So basically, the topic of the day is: Do you feel like girls are being empowered? I think too much in relation to the boys. Do you think that's true? You look like you have something to say. Do you think that's true? <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's hear from her. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me ask it this way: Is there like there's a girl guides a, a world mm -hmm. girl guides association? association yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Is there one for boys? Yes. Yes, we have. So yes. I put my balance. Okay. So do you feel like they're feeling left out that you know girls are being over empowered, which I don't understand that concept. But do you think so? Mm, for their association, I feel like maybe, I don't know, but we are more interested in things. Mm -hmm. So we are getting maybe more opportunities mm -hmm. because we, we, want to, we want girls to be seen. Mm -hmm. And they're like, they're just doing their things and we don't really see them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... The thing that we need to actually consider is that when we are asking a question like, are we empowered enough? So it is the statement that already says that we are not yet empowered enough. Mm -hmm. Unless and until there is questions arising like this, mm -hmm. then it simply means that we are not there. Mm -hmm. Like we, are, we have not reached where we are supposed That's to be. Mm -hmm. Because the society where we live in, it's not just Nepal or not just Burundi or not just Kenya, but all across the world. Mm -hmm. There are certain people, certain communities, certain families where it is difficult. And we, being the Yes Girls, mm -hmm. we are actually working on it because we know that there is a lot to do and there is a lot to be done. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. You are very <laughs> articulate. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we are on the field, uh -huh. so we can tell that there's, we need to make more effort mm -hmm. because there are, pe there are girls that are not empowered yet. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That when, what have you seen? Tell us what you see. Like, let's take example for um, menstrual hygiene. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of girls that don't even know, like pads. They don't use pads, like s especially in rural regions. So I, I can tell that they are they are not educated on menstrual hygiene or maybe STEM mm -hmm. or how to protect the an environment. So we need to work on that, and that's what we're doing. So yeah. I wouldn't say that we are empowered, like in, we are enough empowered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that up because I my imagination of empowerment was. And at how do I start this conversation? Let me take it from menstrual hygiene, just mm. simple menses, something that's going to happen every month mm. without, f okay, without fail if you're not participating in the activities that may make it fail. But the system dictates, unless otherwise stated, that this will come mm -hmm. once every month. And yeah. we, there's still a large number of us who, who don't know how to deal with it or who are not able to deal with it. Mm -hmm. We still live in a world where, okay, 
I'll tell you something in Kenya. In Kenya, you can go to place certain places and find free condoms being dispensed, mm. but you cannot find free pads. Yeah, Why? exactly mm. in the same. Uh, like yeah. that is the same for my country, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I, I really like. It's very unfair for us. Mm. <laughs> like, why? Yeah. yeah, because it's a very, very, very natural thing. Yeah, like it's biological. Mm -hmm. Like we get it when we born, mm -hmm. and it is important because in order to continue the generations, it is important, and we need to take care of it. Mm -hmm. But we are failing mm -hmm. somewhere, somehow. Mm -hmm. We are failing to do that. So, when I was growing up. Uh, yes, they used to come to our school and talk to us uh, as early as primary or, you know, when you start your men's and I, well, technically, according to, man, comparison is the thief of joy, but you can only know if you compare. So th compared to a lot of girls I went to high school with, I started my menses quite early, like I, yeah, like I bloomed early. Mm. So it, it was very confusing for me because no one else is really, un that's not a conversation I can have with my friend because she doesn't, she doesn't understand mm -hmm. me. You know, but you know they they tried, and it made me so shy even going to the the shop or the supermarket to get what I need. And it, it's been here. It's been here for for the longest time. But I am so embarrassed. Like I'd get it and then run <laughs> to go pay for it, like real quick, and then even hide my face. You're laughing. It's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> but you should see me walking around with it now. But that's neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. We actually, a few months ago, had a member of parliament, a lady. Uh, she, w she wore white, and then she had a, a, s a red stain. Mm -hmm. She was making a statement when she was walking into parliament, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. you know we're going to talk about this thing called menses, and we're going to talk about it now. So I can see things are happening. There are places in, in the country, or I guess in, in there are just places I know of where we're not even there yet to the pads. Like, you don't mm -hmm. even know yet about mm -hmm. pads. You have to sit in on a whole... Yeah. for a week until your menses are done. So mm. if you're going to school, that has to stop. Yeah. But uh, your world literally comes to a standstill mm -hmm. until, which is going to happen every month, Buana. How is that over empowerment? How? Yeah, exactly. On, on, yeah. Monday, on Monday, we're talking about women in politics, specific to the country. And, okay, w the statistics working up to right now don't look very good, mm. according to female representation. And even then, it's usually nominated seats. Like, you weren't elected, it was given to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Or you're pretty, so here, mm. have it. Will you talk nice? Or something like that. But right now, our current government is, I think, doing a really good job of trying to ensure there's a law, actually, two-thirds. I'm talking the most, but I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> show you where, where I think empowerment is. So two thirds, there's a two thirds rule. So we're supposed to have a certain amount yeah. of, of mm. female representation yeah. in the government. And funny thing, our neighbors, Tanzania, the the president is female. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so it, it can't really say it's an African thing. We're not backwards like that because we can clearly see they're they're making moves and developing. So how is that? Over empowerment exactly. and this is a male dominate. Everything has exactly. always been male dominated <laughs> except the kitchen. Mm, uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so just being in the kitchen has never that has uh, been a female thing yeah you just bearing children and, and being in the kitchen and taking care of the home so but even there like uh, taking the lead in kitchen mm -hmm. if we just see the household kitchens are led by women mm -hmm. uh, mostly the housewives mm -hmm. but when you when you go to mm -hmm. the fancy restaurants, mm. the sophisticated you know yeah. places, then well, there, the chefs are the men. Chefs are men. Mm. So that is again not a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is again not a good thing. Mm -hmm. So, is it okay? We've established we're not there yet. Just mm -hmm. in terms of what we're looking at, it's just been always a man's world. It's just women try to fit in. But now my co-host at Grasha Mengi brought up. Which I think I may, and I said I wouldn't give you my sentiments, but I think I agree with her that, yes, we're being empowered, but you know now the boy child doesn't really know how to deal with an empowered woman. So mm. do you think that's something mm. we should balance out? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think that... And like how? Mm. <laughs> we should be given an equal growing field. Mm. Like, when we over-empower girls, they will feel superior, and then put down the boys like mm -hmm. what we've been um, mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. so i think they'll they'll just be 
there should be respect and equality between them, like growing in a, an equal field, mm -hmm. being given the same opportunities, and then like boys should be educated that you have to respect mm. girls, even if you've grown in a different society mm -hmm. telling you this and this, mm -hmm. but you should respect girls and you should like support and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel things should be. Mm -hmm. so and and mm -hmm. how do you think, Nabia, we can fix that or how, c how can we bring balance? Okay, so firstly, we need to understand what empowerment means. Like, what does it really mean? So empowerment doesn't mean, like, I don't know, like, what does it mean is that we have that, we need to have that confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, it sh it's not just women, but the empowerment if itself states that we need to be confident enough to claim something that is ours. If it's our rights, if it's our, you know, things, duties, responsibilities, anything, if it's something that we can claim and we can own it, then that is what empowerment is. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as she said, and as you also said, like we are in a male dominant society and it's not just the case of yesterday and today. Mm. It's been here since decades. Mm. Like it's been happening since long, long, long time. So it will take some more effort, some more time and some more knowledge, some more manpower mm -hmm. to work on, to bring the balance. But we have worked a lot because you just say that Tanzania has a female president. Mm -hmm. We, Nepal, we have a former female president. Oh, we wow. have so many women uh, growing and coming up, standing out for themselves. But the thing is that we need to be able to support ourselves. We need to be able to become bold. And if it's ours, mm -hmm. If, if we think that it's correct and if it's ours, then we need to be, you know, strong enough to stand, mm -hmm. stand for that. Mm -hmm. So I think that is one of, there are so many steps, mm -hmm. there are so many things to be done, but this supporting each other, supporting ourselves, being confident with ourselves is one of the most important thing that we need to do. Mm -hmm. there, there was once, okay, maybe just bringing it back to Menzies. There was a once I interviewed a, um, a single father, a uh, single father of a girl. Mm -hmm. So he was explaining to me uh, how the transition was for him. One minute his girl is, you know, a child, then mm -hmm. suddenly, boom, puberty has mm -hmm. happened, and now he has to, you know, start taking care of it. He has to even learn what cramps are, you know, <laughs> you, you PMS, what that means, like you're not okay for like a little bit of time, and you cannot use that against women. Mm -hmm. like, you've ever been somewhere, Okay, Menzies roughly said, very roughly, don't use it uh, unnecessarily, but here they say kunyesha, like it's raining, literally kunyesha ah, means to rain. Uh, okay. So you'll be there talking to people, calmly, calmly have your conversation, then maybe it starts getting heated up, and then you just hear some random boy, unanyesha, like just because you're, you've become very passionate and very spirited, so it's, it's very, very easy for someone to use your own biological... Mm. <laughs> mm. going on mm. to use it against you and I think that's ridiculous yeah, but you see exactly. now the single father comes in and says okay now I get it now I'm, I'm seeing it for myself with my own eyes and I have to because I'm the only guardian for this child mm. so I'm, I'm learning do you think that's something we should expose the boy child to let me just call them boy child right now no so it is important because it is, as I've already said, it's natural thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the thing that we got when we were just born. Like it was supposed to happen. Mm. And if it stops, if it doesn't happen, then the world will end. Mm -hmm. So that is the fact that we need to know. And in order to support, like as you said, there is a single father who was supposed to support her daughter. Mm. In a similar way, we have got our brothers, our fathers, we have got our uh, partners, mm -hmm. you know. So if they don't know about what is happening with us, then the thing will not go on. Mm -hmm. they, w w they won't be smooth. So it is important for boys to actually know about it. Mm -hmm. As much as girls need the education on menstrual hygiene and about all of those processings, mm -hmm. the boys 
they are supposed to be known about it. Yeah. Okay, and, and maybe before you, you give me your answer, let me just add something on, because this is another pillar I, I feel that empowerment has, or the idea of, of women becoming empowered is based on is education. A long time ago, I, I don't know, in our culture, my ancestors didn't really believe in taking girls to school. Mm -hmm. they, you, you're supposed to, like I said, be in the kitchen or just breed or both. Then the boy goes to school, the boy goes to learn a skill. And initially it was, you know, the boy was going to be the leader of the family. It made sense at the time because everyone knew their pl kind of knew their place. But then education kind of set in and then girls started going to school. Mm. We have a mind. It's not that we're taking away their leadership. It's just now we know a little bit more. Do you feel again is that's something that should be taken away from us just because we have opinions now? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like um, education is important. Mm -hmm. And okay, let's talk about their leadership. Mm -hmm. If the man is working and everything, and then he gets sick or mm -hmm. gets an accident. Like, how are you surviving mm. if you only know to cook? Mm -hmm. Like, how are you surviving? We have a mind, we have a brain, we're intelligent. So we have to, I don't know, to explore that mm -hmm. way, like that part of us and uh, to be confident. And then, like, we are able to do something to make a change. Uh, it's very beautiful when they are supportive, like mm -hmm. e they are supportive to each other. Mm -hmm. and. Like, if you get sick or I don't mm -hmm. know what happens mm -hmm. to you, I'm able to take the, the lead mm -hmm. and then, like, do something for my family, for my country, for my society, for the world. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So we do have people participating on our socials. That is on Facebook, White54, White54 channel on X, White54 underscore channel on the gram. I think my director has got a, a bit carried away with our conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been asking very insightful questions, so I do give you that. Hashtag of the days in the morning. So he's going to display them in just a little bit. And then we will cap it up. I don't know why time is over already. Today is ending really quickly. Oh, this is <laughs> I'm a time flies when you have fun. Hi. Okay. All right. So... Again, with the male dominance, so just let, let me stay there on education for a little bit. Huh? So when you hear engineering, do you imagine women or do you imagine men? <laughs> According to what I've seen uh -huh. while growing up, I definitely see a man with the hat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's because that how I was growing, yeah. like I was grown up, like seeing people mm -hmm. with hats and then but it's very <laughs> inspiring and beautiful to see a woman yeah. with that hat mm -hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> leading like mm -hmm. you know this building should be like mm -hmm. this. yeah okay. it's very beautiful but i know it's not only my case while growing up we saw men and mm -hmm. it's very yeah. like we need to dig in <laughs> to to like to erase that scenario mm -hmm. to make do you options. imagine what do you imagine when you hear engineering? Yeah, it's very similar to her mm -hmm. but since I have been working in this women empowerment thing mm -hmm. now I have to be you know both sided like I have to think about men I have to think about women mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. because we have been working on it like as I've said we are on an exchange international exchange yeah. program mm -hmm. and we have we will be working uh, in s uh, for the six month in different six initiatives mm -hmm. and one of them is STEAM girls mm -hmm. so we all know basically STEM means science technology engineering and mathematics so for this year STEM uh, girl is one of the major initiative that we have to work on Wow mm. so we are the one who are telling the children's and the communities that we meet mm -hmm. that women should be in the STEM field because mm -hmm. the representation of female is mm -hmm. very, very, very low mm -hmm. as compared to male. Mm -hmm. So we are working on this. We have got different activities and we are just two representing, but we are six as a team. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are working in our way best to make the presence, to make the representation of female very similar yeah. to that of male. Mm -hmm. Another thing mm -hmm. about STEM, she's part of the STEM 
<laughs> project. Like she's studying microbiology. Ooh, ah, sick. Yeah. Mm. So, <laughs> and we also have an engineer in our in our yeah, in our group. Okay. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Just <laughs> biology gave me distress. <laughs> Can you imagine microbiology? A A A A. Okay. All right, just uh, maybe last question I'd like to ask before we engage with the viewers. They say, okay, again, I feel like this is society, something that it's fed to us forcefully. They say women, we're not really our own best friends. So uh, while we're trying to empower, case in point, when we're trying to empower ourselves, huh? So I asked you, engineer, what you think of, you said men, right? Mostly men. Mm. Ah, yeah. you, by mistake, you find a woman, you'd find other women saying, ah, you either had to choose beauty or brains, so mm. you chose brains. Mm. You, non you get me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like we, we kind of take away from... Do you believe, let me phrase it as a question, do you think we take away from ourselves also? Do you think we're the, we're the reason we keep making 15 steps forward and then five back? We're progressing, mm. but we're still kind of... Do you think that's a reason? Uh, for example, in my country, um, we have that problem, like, <laughs> there is that, let me tell, like, stupid statement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they say, when you are a smart girl, and then you work hard, and then you get money, mm. we never get married. Eh, mm. We have that here, too. <laughs> yes. you yeah. never, I'm like, why? Mm. Because men will fear you, like, <laughs> why? Mm. They say that here, <laughs> too. Why it's would you global. fear me? <laughs> it's like, universal. Ah. You're working, I'm working. It's, it's just, <laughs> I'm really hurt by that statement. Mm -hmm. But I think women are not really supportive to other women. Mm. Yeah, Please, like that statement, no. yes. And then they're like, like she should be, mm. she should lower herself mm -hmm. to, you know, she'll be leading, she will not have a husband, and na 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 I'm like, no, she's just working for her future. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Or oh God forbid you go study and choose to have a family later than everyone else. Yeah. You should have frozen your eggs. You <laughs> should have, now what do my eggs have anything to do with you? Surely. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, so so I saw you kind of <laughs> reacting to a comment she made. Please yeah, tell me what that was. Yeah, because that's one of the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Like, if women are not supporting women, if there is lack of sisterhood, mm -hmm. then we are not going anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are just we are just gonna stand and say let's empower women, let's work for women empowerment, and then just sit down. Mm -hmm. So if there is no support in between us mm -hmm. as a women, mm -hmm. if we are not supporting each other, then it won't work. Mm -hmm. So first, if we want us ourselves to be strong enough, then we need to be supportive to each other. And then there would be men coming to support us. Mm -hmm. And then there would be other person coming to support us. But at first, we need to uh, empower ourselves. We need to empower each other and then... I don't think there would be any other, you know, barriers. Mm -hmm. Because it's hurting when, you know, when you are doing something great, and then it's your mother telling you, now you should just go and yeah. sit down and, hey, mama, <laughs> 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 you should be the first supporting me yeah. and telling me, go ahead, yeah. you can do it, girl. And then you're telling me that I will be... Like I would take the big head mm -hmm. and then and like in <laughs> French yeah, we say and, mm -hmm. la grande tête, la grosse tête. <laughs> like you be very confident and then you forget about everything else. Wow. So no, we should be really pushing each other to mm -hmm. to be in front yeah. and do and everything. This is why education is important. Very. It is the major, major, major pillar. So in order to make a strong and stable building, we have to make its base very strong at mm -hmm. first so education is that factor for empowerment if we just like she said if your, our mother is educated then she will definitely help us to achieve our dream mm -hmm. she will again inspire motivate us but if someone is from you know who's like underprivileged who has her own sufferings then she won't be able to motivate the other person. Mm. So that is the reason why education is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Right. Uh, you want to say something? Like? Yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to my mom. <laughs> yes, please. We, we, actually, uh -huh. we. When I was applying for this program, mm -hmm. I'm in first year. I'm studying political science and mm. international relations. Right. And, <laughs> and I was like, mom, I would just have to stop this year and then continue after. And she was like, you know, even if you're going, mm -hmm. It's like you were studying where mm. you were going. Mm. So wow. I push you to go. It will be good on your CV. It will be good for your own growing, mm. like personal and professional. Mm. So maybe you're not studying here, but I know you'll be studying where you're going. Yeah. So go ahead. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's why we call that mm -hmm. Scouting is an informal, you know, education platform. So we are definitely learning. So we, again, from here, because this is the platform and we never know if it's going to happen again. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we'll have, uh, have it again. But uh, let's, me, let me just tell that we, we just want to give a big, big, big shout out to all of our family members, yeah. of all of us, like yes. all the participants and everyone who are doing good, who mm -hmm. are supporting each other, yeah. especially our family members. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks to all of us, oh. all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Guys are so nice. But I think exposure is important. When you get mm -hmm. exposed and you talk to someone who hasn't been exposed, you can just, uh, you can just tell. All right. <laughs> now, before we finish up, guys, I did promise. Let me read a couple yeah. of your comments. Remember, the question of the day is, uh -huh. Is the girl child being empowered too much? Are we going to continue or should we now focus on the boy child? So we have Samuel Wood says hashtag when the morning. It's Chili Wednesday and as usual, I'm still logged live from Giam Luri Massive in Sierra County. See you. Uh, Loi, thanks Val for representing Kamba Nation. Yeah, welcome by the way. Shik Sleazy, <laughs> good morning. Uh, again, says Nakuru Massive. Beta Semi says, Who you are? Shh. Tutongi Akando. Kitri Shiko says, Ndani Sana from Kimbo Rero. Walter, Walk. Eh. Wanani says, A very good morning. Kitui West following. Emmanuel Victor says, Good morning. Tuned in from Langata. Uh, I see Nyongesa. Watching from Mwanda, Bungoma County, Albi says Vihiga, Mago Center tuned, hashtag why in the morning. And I like how you're watching us from different places, guys. I'm enjoying. We have Stephen uh, says listening from Naitiri, Bungoma County. Ibrahim says watching live from Bonde, Cherengani show up. I see Timothy says hello, guys. I'm tuning from Kitale. Uh, Glenn says following the show. Mze Chuma, wow. I like your handle. Good morning. Watching Adonieri show ni nare. Nare is hot. It's slang for hot, so it's hot. Karidi K says, morning tuned in. I see Kamau says, good morning. Pamoja Sanapa Kagera. Yeah, I see you. Gatondo South. Jonas says, good morning. From Makweni Royal Digital Kinyozi. Peter Mugenge. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Guys, you've been told you look amazing. Say thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting up to Akiruga. MC says, I'm, com I'm coming there. Come, Buana. Mm -hmm. Kevin Jijo says, Katambe Designio. Carlton Abdul says, Nikondani Kama Kawaida Nikiwa Kendu Bay. All right. Ooh, yes, so many. Lion J says, Cool girls, Apple say, Thank you, girls. Asante. Ah! Asante. <laughs> <laughs> Glad says we got Sabatia Busali following. Uh, Wesley says good morning. Julia says good morning. JJ Mombasani following. Teresa Noni says good morning. Joni says Wapoa. <laughs> Mpoa is 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 your 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 personal person. So uh, mm. he's <laughs> said Wapoa mm. is plural. Tashwe says good looking. Ah, do the thing with Asante again. Asante. That is uh, what's what's going. Okay. Shame. Hey, man, James, I see you top fan. Deno Sururu says all the way from Cap Kele. Uh, Lee says, mm, eh, <laughs> that was a very long story. It's, it's gone, but uh, we see you. We'll talk to you later. Admin will deal. Louise Molly says, tuned. Timothy Ngaira says, good morning. I'm watching from Kitale. DJ Ken, D. Ken says, tuning from Ken to Bay. Ah! This is the man of the hour. Oguda Bradley Sakara Kayesu. I can see as well has been represented by Grace. Uh, wow. Handshake represented by. Wow. Anyway. 
We see you and appreciate you. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> where you are. Kedi Juba says, locked Irungo Jason in, in, in. Hey, you're so in. You've written it three times. Dennis says, Kapingura, Tunazidi kuwa fuatile, stroke kama kawa, pitu kinaro, says, KCC Malewa, Nevasha, Kambi, Nare, equal locked. And we are going to end it there. Thank you so very much for interacting with us. Girls, are we, are we done or do you have one more like shout out that you remembered mm -hmm. as was you good? Last words? Yes. Um, go follow us on platform. Mm -hmm. We have <laughs> IG, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and yeah. YouTube. Yeah. You can go at Yes Girls Movement Kenya and Please. follow us for <laughs> to see what we are doing around yeah. Kenya. Uh -huh. and yes. <laughs> what are your personal handles? Ah, Lu. Lu uh-huh. Ira Lutre. Hey. I'm speaking French. <laughs> this makes good French. Like I can hear. Yeah. I can hear. Lu 13. Uh-huh. Yeah. Underscore. Like on the I don't even know how uh, to something say like that. that. Yeah. Say it in French. Lu uh ba treze. Okay. L O U U on the underscore underscore thirteen. Uh -huh. you are? Okay, so my Instagram handle is N A B I N A mm -hmm. underscore M A N G R A T I. I hope I'm getting more followers. <laughs> you should. We really, really should. Guys, follow, follow. They know where they're going. You can hear their inspirational and all those things. Yeah. So uh, please allow me to close it up right here. My name is Valentine or at Color Me Val. I Sorry. have something to say. <laughs> say, say, say. <laughs> okay, so a uh, scouting and girl guide is actually more special for Kenya because the founders of scouts and girl guiding, Lord Baden Powell, and uh, like they were, they have, we have their what? Yeah, he was buried here in yeah. Nairobi. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yes. So it's like more precious. Like Kenya yeah. is more precious for all yeah. of us family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to talk about that as well yeah thank you continue so, uh, we'll have what did you say having big head means mm. what to say it and ghost it we'll do that <laughs> <laughs> you keep telling us nice things okay that we really really have to go thank you for letting me host you today myself and grasha mengi the at color me val and you've heard theirs but of importance is white five on facebook white five four channel on x white five four underscore channel on instagram i will see you when i see you but i told you just because why in the morning is over doesn't mean you have to leave white five four channel please kindly stay you never know what you'll see and i'm i'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it Aya, nevo have a good day <laughs> bye <laughs>